Wow. Oh my goodness, how much fun are we having today? Oh. oh. Hey, welcome. I'm Sean Parr from the nationally syndicated radio show across the country, and this is day three of week number six, and we're so blessed to have you along. I am here with two amazing families. Of course, the Jurgies, so great to see you guys. What's up? And the Tilbys, the flipping Tilbys are here, ready to have a good time today and give you the best RVs, the 2021s, the ones you've been waiting to see. We've seen so many incredible units so far, but what's gonna happen at the end of the day today, Bryce? We are giving away an RV to one of you. Somebody gets an RV. I mean, it happens every week. We've got this 10 week tour going on and in beautiful Utah. Are we ready to do this, Sean? Let's do it. How do they get an RV though? How do they register? What do they gotta do? So in order, yeah, it's super easy. You just gotta text U-R-V-S to 46642. Pretty easy, right? And then bam, you're registered. We have so many prizes to give away, so many great things to look at. As a matter of fact, we're gonna kick into the travel trailers that are built for two right off the bat. And unfortunately, you guys, you have seven in your family. (laughs) Don't think it'll work for you guys. But loving this, of course, because you had to start with two, right? Yep. (laughs) Unfortunately, Sean, fortunately. No, fortunately. I, I, that is for, <laughs> fortunately. That's right. We're just showing you that families can be on the road and have a great time. And I know you guys like being true, on the road. True, true. We do. All right. And we're going to go next week where? Uh, next week we are going to be, what state are we going to be Minneapolis. in? Minneapolis. Minneapolis. That's right. That's right. But today it's all about Utah and it's all about these amazing travel trailers and showing you what you want to see. It is. And as you guys watch today, you'll have questions coming to mind. Anything you have questions about, text RV to 46642 and you'll get connected with a specialist. Yeah, we have so many specialists standing by waiting to take care of you. But right now, let's take a look at the Coleman Light 3055 BS. This is what it's all about. So you may be thinking, all right, this one comes in at just under 35 foot. It's got to be a bunk model. And you would be absolutely wrong because, folks, this is travel trailers that are built for two. And this one right here is the Coleman Light 3055 BS, and it is an awesome floor plan. If you're looking for something that has a lot of space and a ton of storage, then this is the model. Let's actually start off right over here on the kitchen because I love these countertops. You have upgraded countertops in here, not T-mold because we don't want that, right? This is something for two people. You want something that's a little bit higher end. You don't have to worry about kids that are gonna come in and start messing everything up, right? You know, you can't have anything nice. That's what I always tell my kids. This is why we don't have nice things. Um, Not gonna be the case here. You get the upgraded countertops, you get the the undermount stainless steel sink with that beautiful apron front, high rise pull out faucet on there. You know, cause you have to wash and rinse dishes. You wanna make life a little bit easier and that'll do it. Let's see if I can, uh, mat- nap. for the record, if you ever see this happen, in case you don't know, if you're new to pull out faucets, there's a weight down below and sometimes that weight will get hung up. If you just go underneath, move that weight, it'll snap right back into place. Uh, over to the side is a recessed three burner cooktop with a glass cover. You can fold this guy up and back just like that. Doubles as a backsplash, that front one's high output. And take a look at the actual backsplash, right? Now, a couple things I love here. One is it's nice and high, you know, kind of like a gray subway tile, but two, it comes on the side. You get the side splash, and that's a big one for me because a lot of times you'll have it back here, but if I'm cooking something right here, that's not what I'm worried about. It's this, right? So right there, I love that it actually comes, uh, you know, across the side here. You got the oven if you want to do some baking underneath that sink. Boom, it's, it's a little dirty. I should have probably vacuumed in there, but there is enough space for a trash can, and that's always a big one for me because, you know, I don't want my trash bags hanging out, don't want it stinking up the place. You have a couple of drawers, which again, you have to have, right? They have a functional kitchen. You'll see that right there. Big space back here as well, which is great if you have uh, like a coffee maker or something. Boom, you can drop it down right there. And also, you will see all this additional storage here. Now, you can use that for pots and pans, or if you want to kick off your shoes and toss them in there, that's a good idea too, you know? That way, it's not clogging up that main entryway. Storage up top with frosted glass, microwave, and a hood. You'll see stainless steel panels on the front of this guy. This is your Dometic fridge freezer combo with automatic switchover. Got the nice crisper tray, space for a little bit taller items like a two liter or you know half gallon of milk, something like that. Then coming over to the entertainment center, we have a TV right there, multimedia center down below, and a fireplace. So the TV is a great angle to the theater seat right here. Not perfectly across, but pretty close. Uh, And then the multimedia center, which has an HDMI port if you have auxiliary equipment, and the fireplace not only looks nice, but will also take a chill off. But here is the really cool thing, ready? Not only do you have that, but 
I don't know why I use Jurassic Park music, but there it is. Anyway, you open that up and take a look at the size of that pantry back there. You wanna talk about great utilization of space. That for me is absolutely it. I love how much space you have back there. And you know, honestly, if the grandkids come, this is where you can hide all the snacks. You know, you wanna hide the marshmallows, you wanna hide the chocolate bars, the Cheez-Its, the Reese's, whatever it may be. You're gonna stick it right back there. They'll never know that that opened. So all the good snacks can stay back there. Uh, then as we make our way to the very back, this of course is the bathroom. And one of the things I love about this is look at all this space I have in here. Far too often, bathrooms are really crammed in couples models. You know, they'll be like over in a corner. Now it's a rear bath, so you would expect it to be a little bit bigger and it absolutely is. Uh, we'll see in a second, you have a sink and mirrored medicine cabinet over to the side. As for toilet space, I mean, you know, I have great space right here. The other cool thing is take a look in here. You wanna talk about great sp uh, spot to put clothes, right? Because if it's a two of you, maybe you're, gonna, you know, maybe you're gonna live in it for a while. Maybe you're gonna stay in it. You're gonna be a snowbird, travel down south for a few months. Well, you need to make sure you have clothes. And right in here, you have a hanging rod, right? You have some removable shelves, but you have shelves running all the way down, plus more shelves right over here. I mean, this whole thing is a big walk-in closet. And you still have more storage up front. Don't get me wrong. You have a huge wardrobe up front that we'll see in just a little bit. As for shower space, robe hooks right there, by the way. Um, but as for shower space, it's another important one, right? When it comes to couples models, you want to make sure you can stand in the shower. And folks, it's six foot tall. Even without that skylight, I absolutely can. With it, you know, I have another probably two inches there. Uh, I can stand in here without having to duck down. Built-in shower door just slides closed nice and easily to make sure that all the water stays in the shower where I want it. And it doesn't end up all over the floor. Now, as we uh, you can see the sink right there, as we talked about, you know, let me show you this. Underneath, right, plenty of storage space for a trash can even, which I love. The mirrored medicine cabinet right up there. Good size sink. You have an electrical outlet for everything else, you know, whether it's hair dryer, flat iron, electric toothbrush. You know, I don't know about yours. Mine seems to die like every four days, so you always got to plug that in. Um, but when you make your way back out, you'll see the big super slide. Now, theater seating here, as I mentioned, that's right across the TV, right where you want it. Both of those kick back and recline so you can get nice and comfortable. Big windows go all the way up to the top of the slide there. So you can see that lets in a ton of natural light during the day, which is phenomenal. You have your, um, your dinette right over here. You know, you can sit down, relax. You can have four people sit in here. Now, it's built for two, but you know, maybe you like to entertain. I do, I like to have friends over. Maybe you make friends uh, out at the campground. I mean, that's half of what camping is about is, you know, going out, making friends, having people to hang out with, um, you know, having people to drink with. Don't wanna drink alone anymore. No, just kidding. Uh, but it, it really is uh, great just to have extra space for people. And you know, whether you have people to dine at there in the theater seat, while this one is built for two, it absolutely has space for entertainment value. Um, but yeah, windows here, windows on the sides. Nice light fixture right up top. So you come around to the side, we'll open this up. More pantry space right here. And, and folks, one of the things that I, I want to remind you too, right, is not only is this one, you know, nice and big and have a lot of cool features and can see the ton of people and has a bunch of storage, but you can pick this one up starting at $33,995, which is an amazing price. You're looking at $8.14 a day for something that is almost 35 foot long and has great amenities and a ton of options. You're not gonna miss out, wanna miss out on that one. All you have to do to take advantage of that is text the word RV to 46642. But we're certainly not done. Let's take a look at the front. Because as I said, this one just has a ton of space. You get a slide out bed, a huge window, basically as a headboard, which I love, just lets a lot of natural light in there. You get electrical outlets, USB ports on both sides. Take a look at this right down here. You can see all the additional dresser space. You have a spot to put a TV, windows on both sides of that, and a massive wardrobe all the way across the front like it was a fifth wheel. You know, that's oftentimes what we see in a fifth wheel is the front end, the nose being a wardrobe, and you get that here. So you have that big walk-in closet in the back. You get this dresser up front. You get the wardrobe up front here, and all of that for, again, under $34,000 starting price. Just phenomenal. Also, this is something that I, I feel is... Um, I don't want to say undervalued, but underappreciated. That is a full length mirror, right? If I close this, 
Hi, Fritz. <laughs> so right here, I can actually see myself from top to bottom, right? I can make sure that my shoes are okay with my pants, okay with, you know, the whole nine. I, I, I actually get a full profile and you would be shocked at how hard that is to do in a travel trailer. So we're talking about travel trailers built for two, something like that is a great option to have. Another excellent option, this second ac prep i don't know about you but you know being a bigger rv something like this i would probably want a second ac if i'm traveling down south if it's going to be warm if it starts getting up into the 80s i'm going to want that second ac and this one has the option to do it also i don't want you to think there's not storage underneath the bed because there absolutely is as we lift that up take a look huge storage right there which is fantastic goes all the way back there i mean if you have some larger items i know i've talked to uh a few couples, you know, that will bring like guitars and stuff for sitting around the campfire plugging away. That right there will let you have a space for those. And as we make our way out, upgraded steps makes it easy to get in and out of that RV. You can see the upgraded grab handle right there too. I love the aluminum treads. You know, those aren't gonna rust on you. You can see that power awning with the LED light strip lit up real nice and pretty. Come on up front. Let me show you a few features up here real quick. Power tongue jack, folks. I always say it, this lets me get to drinking my old fashioned that much quicker because I don't have to sit here and crank that bad boy up and down. I can just flip the switch and that's what I'm all about. You know, uh, you'll see your two 20 pound propane tanks right behind that. By the way, this has a light on it, I may add. So if it's nighttime starting to get dark, you wanna light it up. You wanna be able to see what's going on, right? The light of your life, uh, that right there, you can light her up. You'll see a three-quarter front cap with some LED lights on there. Just a nice little touch. Also, you can't see it too well, but right here, this one has a fully enclosed, insulated, and heated underbelly. So if you plan on doing it, camping a little bit later, whether it's, you know, in spring, fall, whatever it may be, having that insulated underbelly will not only keep it cleaner, but also it will help, um, you know, keep things a little bit warmer down there. So that way your tanks, lines, and stuff aren't freezing up on you. Pass through storage right there. You can take a look at that guy. And remember, we still had all that storage underneath the bed, plus solar prep located right there. So if you want solar, boom, good to go. Power stabilizer jacks. That way, again, you're not hand cranking anything. And as I mentioned already, you got a power awning. So you got power pretty much everything all the way across. If you want TV outside, because hey, why not? You know, boom, there it is. You have a mount for it, connections for it as well. Bear in mind that if you do have the TV there, if you're boondocking, which you know, you'd have to be running a generator to run the 120, but your fresh water inlet is behind it, so you have to move the TV. Not a huge deal, don't know why you'd run into that issue. It'd be a very, very rare thing, but did just want to let you know. Coming back a little bit further, outside kitchen. This is another big one for me. A lot of times to get one of these, you have to have a bunk bottle. If it's just two of you and you want to be able to cook outside, you don't want a bunk bottle most of the time. And this will still give you the ability to cook though. So right there, you got a two burner cooktop. You got good storage here, electrical outlet, plus my beer fridge, right? Gotta have that. Coming around to the back, first of all, let me take a look at that. You wanna talk about a gorgeous view, right? We are here in Salt Lake City, Utah, and I'm telling you folks, that is a view. I, it's one of the great things about my job or about RVing in general, is you get to get out and see beautiful things. You know, people that live here might take that for granted, but for me, being from Michigan and seeing a mountain range is just, absolutely phenomenal it's breathtaking um, also you can see backup camera right here you have a square tubular bumper you can see the uh, spare tires mounted there it gives you a place to put your sewer hose outside shower I'm telling you folks this is just one of so many we have that are built for two people and this one is starting at eight dollars and 14 cents a day and again all you have to do to lock in that pricing is text the word RV to 46642 now we definitely have more uh, RVs for couples coming up in just a bit. So if this one wasn't the one for you, make sure you stay tuned because we may just get to it yet. Demand for RVs is at historic levels, which is why we are working around the clock to bring you over 80,000 factory fresh RVs. That's the largest selection of RVs in the world, fresh from the factory to our stores, to your driveway or campsite. RVs are made by Americans for Americans. And now you can see America for less. Shop over 80,000 factory fresh RVs, starting at just $5 a day. Click, call, or visit your local Camping World or Gander RV and Outdoors today. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, welcome to the second week of the annual Camping World Trivia Competition. Woo! We've got yes. the Jurgies going one. against the Flippin' Tilbies. Yeah! 
<laughs> we told you two amazing families. Here we go. We're going to ask the question. The first one to ring the bell will get a chance to answer. If you're right, you get a point. Sean? If you're wrong, you'll be asked to leave this stage. I'm, I'm kidding. Here we go. I'm already sweating a little bit. With question number one, RVing without hookups is commonly referred to as, yes, the Tilbys. Boondocking! Wait, 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 I got a question. Yes. Do you have to finish the question first, or can we go any time? You can go at any time. Too. All right, okay. This time out being brought to you by our good friends at Camping World and Gander RV and Outdoor. Here comes question number two. Goodness. In RV or speak, what is a stinky slinky? This one goes to the jerkies. It is the thing that supports the hose or the hose and or the hose. Sewage hose. With a sewer hose is correct. Oh, You're almost answer. out of time. The judges say yes. It's one to one. Continuing on. Oh, this gosh. one is a trick question. Be very careful. All right. What is the tropical sounding name for the skirt placed around a trailer to keep it warm during winter? The Jerkies! What is it, Eddie? What is it? It's a... Hula skirt has yeah. been called! Yeah. Two to one, Jerkies! The Tilby's trying to catch up with this that. question. How many national parks are there here? Oh. oh, I thought it was the Tilby's! It could have been a tie! We're going with the Tilby's. 63. 63 has been called! That is the... Correct answer! Maybe finish the question for them so they know what the question was. Ladies and gentlemen, how many <laughs> national parks are there here in the U.S.? 63. We have a tie. We have one more question. What? ESPN should be covering this tonight with scores and highlights. We should have a blimp overhead taking this shot. Here All it right. comes. We'll see. <laughs> what RV manufacturer makes the Enlighten 18BH? We talked about it on the weekend to kick things off. Uh oh, oh wait, the uh, Jerkies. Uh, Jayco's. Wrong, and a chance to start it off. Isn't it Gulfstream? It's a Gulfstream. Yeah. Yes, that's what I'm Woo. talking about. I had to just go for it. I just Ladies had to and go gentlemen, for it. That's right. we have a champion. It goes to the flipping right. Tilbys. All right. All right. All right. Oh, I'm exhausted. Let's take a look at the Heartland Mallard so that we can get a minute and we'll come back with more. <laughs> another great couple, another great couple, another great trailer for a couple is this one right here. This is the Heartland Mallard 260 and I personally really enjoy this floor plan. Um, now we may not have quite as much storage space. I take that back, you definitely do. So let's get into it. So as we start off, let's flip it around Fritz. I wanna show everyone, I know it's a beautiful view there and we'll get to it in a second, but I wanna show everyone the kitchen because as I said, that's where I like to start because I do a lot of cooking and I wanna know what kind of kitchen space I'm working with. And I think they did a great setup here. You know, beautiful uh, countertops that you have. They are upgraded countertops. You'll see that the sink has your uh, sink top covers in it. These are cutting board quality, right? You can flip these bad mamma jammas over, do all sorts of cutting on there. You have the high rise pull out brush nickel faucet, two electrical outlets. So, you know, it's a perfect spot for a coffee maker right back there. If you need to plug anything else in, you still can. Plus you get the three burner cooktop right over here. You can see kind of the upgraded grates on there as well. Flip that guy up and back. You'll also notice the backsplash running all the way to the side right there. Um, you know, now we don't get the side splash like we had in the Coleman. It's not quite as high, but it is still decorative. It still looks very nice. We'll also see a bank of drawers. You have three full extension drawers on here. So you can see that plenty of drawer space. Plus underneath the sink, you have a spot for a, uh, you know, a little bit thinner trash can, but you do still have space for one. All the way across the top is great storage. We'll open that up just to kind of show you, you know, give you an idea of space. And I love the cabinetry in here. I think Again, I think Mallard did a great job. They did this, uh, I want to say about two years ago or so. Um, and, I, and I think it's a, a definitely a good change. Maybe it's a year and a half, something like that, but a great change. Uh, microwave, hood right there. Doodle station on the fridge. This is one of those things that's very unique. I've only ever seen it in a Mallard. And it's kind of cool. Um, I don't know about you know everyone that's watching at home, but and, and I always say this when I talk about a mallard. But my wife is very artistic, right? And so we have chalkboard stuff like in the home, like in our kitchen. It'll have cute little sayings on it, um, you know, like it, it's wine thirty or something like that. Um, but you know, I like the fact that if you're artistic, you're decorative. You know, you can put some really cool stuff on here. Otherwise, I know this is built for two, but 
if you have grandkids that come and you know you want to give them something to do give them a piece of chalk and they can you know just draw right down here it, you know at least they'll give them some kind of entertainment for a little while you know get them away from electronics on a rainy day it gives you alternate entertainment here in your rv as you make your way down a little bit further you get into the entertainment center so right there is where your tv will be located You'll see these little guys that'll plug right into the back. Those are connected, of course, to this multimedia center. This is a DVD player as well. And then a little bit of storage underneath there, right? And, uh, but again, beautiful cabinetry. But the big kicker here is right over here. So why, you know, the, the pantry or the TV may not swing open to reveal a pantry. You might be seeing a trend in some of these. And that is a pantry behind the TV. So a little bit different, not quite as much storage, but still very large. Uh, of course, you have a light in there, as you'd expect, and you will see a place to hang up jackets, which I really like. Because personally, I don't know if I would use this for a pantry as, I, as much as I would for an entryway. So, or, or you know, kind of like a, like a, what I would call like a mudroom closet, right? Walk in, kick off my shoes, put them right in here, have a place to hang up my jackets. If I do cold weather camping, maybe put like some hats, scarves, things like that right up top. Um, I think it's perfect for that, but you know, if you bring a lot of food and you want pantry space, you can definitely use it for that as well. Something I do love about this floor plan is this barn style door on the back. I think this is stunning. Um, it's just absolutely gorgeous. A great job of mixing and matching the woods here. Uh, again, I think it's really beautiful. Big entryway. Can walk in here like I'm a king. Um, always do the toilet test, and so here we go. As you can see, plenty of space for the shoulders, good space for the legs here as well. Massive countertop. You want to talk about big countertop space in the bathroom. If you're one that has your stuff spread all over the place, which I know you're out there, I know you're watching, this right here is the countertop in the bathroom for you. Uh, you also have a little bit of storage underneath as well as access to plumbing, and then more right up top here, right? So kind of like a super large medicine cabinet going all the way across the top there couple lights, your vent fan, and then a window in the back to let in some natural light. Your tank monitoring panel is over here, um, and it is worth mentioning that this one, your water heater does run off both propane and electric, and you can absolutely turn both of those on at the same time for faster recovery. Linen closet over to the side, that's always important, right? You need a place to put some of your towels or anything else that you kind of you know want to tuck away. If you want to throw some extra toilet paper in there, it's a great spot to get at it, nice and simple. And then as for the shower, you get a big shower back here too. I mean, you know, again, I, I'm somewhat broad shouldered. I'm six foot tall. You know, I currently am weighing about 210 ish right now. Um, but as you can see, I mean, I can, you know, spin around here fairly easily. With that skylight at six foot, I have plenty of space to stand up in here. It could probably be uh, maybe 6'2 and not have to duck down, which is pretty great. And you kind of have the shower curtain that you can see is built in right there. The cool thing about this is it is mold resistant. Now, they have to say, resistance because they can't truly say it's you know mold proof but uh, trust me it'll, it'll do a great job you can roll it right up when it's wet you don't have to worry about mold or anything growing on it then we take a look at the slide out something i love that they added is right here behind the fascia they put some uh lighting they did that on both sides i think that's really cool i think it adds a lot to the rv itself uh you know as far as an aesthetic piece great lighting in the dinette as well this is a tri-fold sofa so not only is it comfortable and a great spot to see the tv because naturally it's directly across from it but this also does fold out into a bed so if you do have guests and they want to stay the night that is probably going to be the most comfortable bed space for them. You do get the, uh, the option of a dinette as a sleeping space as well. Uh, it probably wouldn't be my first choice. Again, I would much rather sleep on the trifold if I were a guest, but you do have this in case, you know, again, it's the, your kids and the grandkids. You need a couple different sleeping spaces. You are able to provide that. This table I like a lot as well. Um, this is something I always talk about. So with this leg system, it certainly doesn't look as nice as pedestal legs, my opinion, right? I think pedestal legs look a lot nicer. The issue with most pedestal legs is if you shake them, they, they will shake quite a bit because, you know, they're, it's just pedestals. So it's going to move back and forth in there a little bit. It's not super tight. But with this one, it's actually mounted to the wall here as well as having the legs. So, I mean, you can shake this pretty heavily and it's not going to go anywhere. So you don't have to worry about, you know, plates flying off or milk falling, anything like that. So even though, in my opinion, it doesn't look quite as nice, it's not as aesthetically pleasing, uh, I do like this table system better than the pedestal. Um, you, will, whoops, you will also see right over here, there's an electrical outlet. So if you need to 
uh, do any work while you're sitting there, tablet, laptop, something like that, you have access to that. And easy access to the storage underneath, you can just swing that right open. While we're taking a look here, you'll also notice the vinyl weave that they use in the Mallard. This is wonderful because it cleans up very easily. So, you know, I keep using the grandkids for an example, but whatever it may be, hey, maybe it's you. Maybe you're eating some ice cream or spaghetti and you slop it everywhere. You know, I slurping up a noodle and it's all over your shirt and all over the furniture and the floor. They drop a meatball, whatever. Um, the cool thing about this flooring is it is easy to clean up and it doesn't stain easily. And also you have the uh, kind of like the, the vinyl on the bottom of the seat here too. So both your upholstery as well as the flooring is easy to clean around the table. And that's, you know, for me again, that's a big plus. Maybe you spill red wine. Maybe that's more accurate. I, I don't know. Making our way up front though, the bedroom, this is another big selling feature of the Mallard and that's the fact you have a king size bed. Uh, this is one of those things folks where, you know, if this is a big deal to you, if a king size bed is a selling point, uh, there aren't a ton of travel trailers that have king size beds. So what I definitely recommend is you're gonna wanna text the keyword fresh to 46642. When you text that word, uh, that will let us know that you're interested in one of the over 100,000 pieces of inventory we have on the lot and on the order. And we will help you navigate, right? We'll help you narrow down the models available that have a king bed, right? If that's one of those things, or maybe, you know, it has to have a U-shaped dinette. Maybe you love everything about this, but you know, you want a different dinette. Well, we know if A, it has an option for it, or B, other RVs that may meet the needs that you want. So if, if you're looking for something, if you're interested, I'm telling you, uh, let me let you in on a little secret, right? I said this a few weeks ago, and, and it still holds true. Most people think that the RVing season is like from March to August or September. And while yes, that is when most people are out, are out RVing, any veteran RVer, anyone that's been out there and doing it, knows that you know January, February is the time to get out. That's the time to buy your supplies. That's the time to get RVs because otherwise it's going to be gone. If you're waiting until you know uh, July 4th or June and you think you're going to get out there and get the RV, the exact RV you want, chances are it's not going to happen, folks. Um, you know I don't think it's it's a huge secret that the the demand for RVs right now is extremely high. So if you want to make sure that you get the RV that you want, I'm telling you, make sure you text FRESH to 46642 so that you can get the exact one you want. And maybe this is it. Maybe the Mallard 260 with the king bed in here and all the storage and that huge bathroom in the back and the TV hookup up front here. Maybe that's the one you want and that's great because folks, this one is starting at $27,995 for the show, which is as little as $6.92 a day, which is a phenomenal price for what you're getting. So if it's just the two of you and you're like, Ian, this is the one, well, good news, because as of right now, we have a few in stock. Now, let's talk a little bit about some of the outside features. And you know what, we'll, we'll go up front and then we'll make our way back. I, I always like to start up front, I don't know. I don't know if I'm slightly OCD or what it is, but I have this order I like to go in, right? Um, so as we make our way up front here, <laughs> sorry, one of my guys was about to get picked up on camera and just spun away. It was pretty impressive. Anyway, um, right here is a power tongue jack. So, you know, nice and easy to hook up and disconnect. Has a light at night. You can see it's starting to get a little bit darker out right now. So that light's starting to show up real well. You have two uh, 20 pound propane tanks. You have the diamond plating up front there. Uh, fully insulated uh, underbelly, right? Fully enclosed, heated, and insulated. So you can do some of that camping in the colder season. Three quarter front cap on here, which is beautiful. Kind of have like that faux window in the front, which I love that look. The LED lights, King Kong size storage. Huge storage door right there, folks. Maybe not so much on the other side. We call that a, a mini Kong, a, a Diddy Kong, if you will. But uh, this right here, you know, you have lights in there. You have plenty of space. I mean, you can, fit all sorts of stuff in there. You know, if you want to throw a pool noodle in there, sure, you can do it, but you got room for big chairs, grills, everything else. Your power stabilizer jack controls are in there. You have two inch thick uh, walls on here, fully, um, sorry, fully laminated, excellent construction. You can see the wide axle or spread axle giving you great towability, electrical outlet. The more ride step above steps, Black tank flush right back here. Asdell, that's a big one. Rather than Luan, it uses Asdell. Folks, there's so many things on here. I just don't have time. I'm telling you, if you're interested, you're thinking about getting an RV, simply text that keyword FRESH to 46642. Fresh, fresh, fresh. Heartland has RVs to help everyone launch their life's journeys. 
All new designs and floor plans provide choices for every type of camper. Whether you're a solo RVer, a family, a retiree, or something in between, come find your perfect model. Because buying a Heartland should feel like you're joining our family. So let's hit the road and enjoy life's great adventures together. With the Camping World Best Price Guarantee, we'll beat any competitor price by $500 guaranteed or write you a check for $1,000. I will never lose a deal over price, ever, and I guarantee it. Learn more today at CampingWorld.com. Sooner or later, everyone's bound to encounter someone in need. If you're one of the stopping kind, chances are it was passed down. Hey, Mom. Some good that you observed from early on. Call it going the extra mile or paying it forward. We just call it being good. Spend a lifetime doing good. Thank you. Because the next generation is watching. <laughs> I'm still having fun from the trivia contest that we had a little bit ago. That was so fun. Sorry, Jergies. You listen. had to go down at some point and lose. Yeah. Yeah. But in, listen, in my heart, I didn't, though. You know, You're still in my heart, I did not. I'm yeah, the, totally winner. The best way to get over, though, is by giving away, you know? You know what? Ultimate giveaways are what we're all about. We keep talking about it. If you haven't registered yet, it's simple. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, yes, yes, it is. <laughs> all you got to do, you guys, is just text URVS to 46642, and you'll be registered for the show, and you can win one of these puppies. All right, Sean Parr with the Jurgies. Bryce. Nelly, let's give it away. Bryce, Steel. go ahead. Oh, man. It, this is a 49cc scooter, all right? 50 miles a gallon, way better than our uh, truck that's towing our rig. And uh, this thing is awesome. So the winner for this, Cindy Rote. Cindy Rote, you decided Woo! to register. You got dialed in. Now you can put this bad boy, get your hog on there, and bam, you're all get over your town. Hog. And you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, it is I great for tooling off. around. It's nice and comfortable. It's safe. Put a little grocery thing on the back if you want to make a what run. What about another human, Down to the right? local market yeah, and can, uh, head back to the campgrounds because we make it safe and we make it easy. Listen, we are having we a go. ball. I can't believe this is week six already of the Ultimate RV Show National Tour. And we have seen some amazing, fresh from the factory vehicles and 2021s that have these floor models that everybody is getting so excited about. Look what you're doing here. I'm just ready. Like, is this, can we, t can we have one? Like, Absolutely, you can take off in this. See, it comfortably fits too. It she does, it's great. Good yeah. for couples to tool around, say hi to the neighbors. Yep, you Cindy, know. so you can take someone on this with you. So Always wear your helmet. Safety first is what we're all about. Absolutely. And we're going to jump into this one right here. This is going to be the Jayco Whitehawk. And awesome. when you see the extra counter space, you're going to love it. Ian, what do you got for us? So if you're sick of rear baths, maybe you want a rear kitchen. Well, uh, like all good things, you're going to wait a little bit because we're going to start outside this one. There are some things I have to hit before we get in there. But folks, this is the Jayco Whitehawk 26RK. Great floor plan. We'll get in there in just a second. But again, I want to start out here. So power tongue jack, making it easy to hook up, disconnect. You have a light right there. You have your propane tanks with a cover, space for your batteries right here. And of course, your diamond etch plating coming up the front. Now, because it's a Jayco, you have that integrated A-frame. It is a BAL huck bolt frame as well. Definitely some good advantages to that. Uh, you know, it's easier to repair if there's ever damage and it's been shown that it's less likely to start uh, rusting because the number one spot rust starts is at weld points. Limiting those weld points hopefully will help reduce a chance of rust. But that integrated frame will also help make sure that this doesn't buckle up on you, which is always a good thing. And then right here, I love this. Not only is this a three quarter front cap with LED lights, but more importantly, this one has a gorgeous front windshield on there. I love it, lets in a ton of natural light, looks great. Daytime, nighttime, doesn't matter. It's always looking good. Something you'll see right here is you have slam latch baggage doors. It's also magnetic catch, so you can just put it up and forget it. So if the grandkids come by and they're like, oh no, you're not gonna have to worry about a plastic tab or anything breaking off, right? Trust me, I've seen it happen. You don't want it to happen. Magnetic catches, you are good. Take a look in that pass-through. Big pass-through on the other side. There's a battery disconnect. Not sure if you can see it, but it is there. You also have an electrical outlet right here, which is super handy and Tire pressure monitor, folks. That's what you know. What the number one reason for tire blowouts is underinflated tires. You want to make sure you're running the proper pressure 
for the weight and you have to include what you're packing in it. If you're putting 1,200 pounds in here, you have to account for that. Also take a look at this, you have a table, you can just pull that sucker out, set it up right out here. It's great to have an outside table, whether you just want it for extra food or I don't know, playing games or something on it, there it is. Another big feature right here is you have side camera prep, not just backup camera, but side camera too. So that way, as you're switching lanes, you can make sure you're seeing what's on the side of you so you're not, uh, you know, not having any blind spot issues and hitting anyone. You'll see frameless windows on here, great upgrade. Not only do they look way nicer, but also because of the way they tilt open, you can have them open while it's raining. You can get some airflow through there, but all the rain's not coming in. Plus it helps protect the seals because they're right behind that glass. Double entry on this one. This one's into the bedroom, so this will be your secondary entry. So you have your fold out steps, but take a look at that. They're aluminum still, so you don't have to worry about any kind of rusting. You got grip tape, a little bit smaller grab handle. You'll have a bigger one on the main entry in the back. Also a window on the door, just so, you, just so everyone knows at home, this does cost more money to put a window in there. The great thing about it though is it also brings in more light and that in conjunction with that front windshield really helps brighten up that, uh, that front bedroom if you, know, you don't wanna try to sleep in. <laughs> uh, right up top, you can see the power awning with an LED light, touch a button to roll that out, same thing to go right back in. Couple of outside speakers there. And one of my favorite parts, again, on a couple's model, a lot of times it's hard to get an outside kitchen, but right here, you're good to go. You have metal countertops, so they're easy to clean off. You can see electrical outlets on both sides right there. Pull this guy out, take a look at this. How cool is this, right? Your faucet is up top, very unique layout right here. This is just nice little uh, rinse bin, a little uh, wash bin, cutting board, right? Prep space right here too. And then over to this side, Capital Grill. I don't know about you folks, but I tend to do a lot more grilling outside than I do with a cooktop, so I love that this is here. And my favorite feature, even though it probably costs like, I don't know, 25 cents, is a bottle opener. Because right here, I'm gonna have a bunch of bottles. I wanna take it out, I wanna pop it open, and I'm gonna be throwing a couple back, and that right there lets me do it. You can see underneath, you have the uh, widespread axles, so the axles are further apart, helping to reduce sway. Um, another big one is you have uh, upgraded tires. You have American tires on there and you have Dexter axles and those are going to be uh, one easy lube, but two, you will have the never adjust brakes, meaning just like the name implies, you don't have to adjust the brakes. One of those maintenance things a lot of people forget to do and you won't have to worry about it. Power stabilizer jacks, your main entrance here you will see has aluminum steps with treads on there. Also the grab handle helping you get inside. We'll go inside in just a moment. I do want to touch on a few things in the back here first. Rear mounted ladder to climb up onto the, the uh, fully walkable roof there. You'll also see backup camera prep as we mentioned and your spare tire right there is going to be covered up and in great shape. Now I know you're dying to get inside, right? See this rear kitchen, see what it's all about. So let's check it's out and here we go so again if you're done with the rear baths you want something a little bit different a rear kitchen is another great option when we're talking about couples models and you can see that you know just like the name implies you have a kitchen in the back so with countertop space here you'll see you get this little pop-up guy so that way you have a little bit of extra countertop because some rear kitchens and there's a lot of different floor plans out there um, you know, some rear kitchens will run, you know, halfway down the wall, wrap all the way around, you know, have more countertop over here. I mean, you can have six cooks in the kitchen still cooking. Uh, this one, not quite as much. Your main prep space will be right here where you have the recessed cooktop with the glass cover. Now, we'll see in a second, this one definitely makes up for a little bit smaller kitchen by having a huge entertainment space. But again, they are all very different. And that's why I, I keep telling, you know, throughout all these streams from week to week with the, the Ultimate RV Show, I keep telling everyone, folks, if, if you're starting to get into things, right, you're wondering, well, okay, you know, this is what I need, need this, 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 and this. Let us help you out. All you have to do is just text FRESH to 46642. And the reason it's fresh is because we have over 80 thousand units that are factory fresh on order coming from the factory every single day you want to make sure that we're able to help you we'll get you all the different rear kitchen models all the different couples models uh, whatever it may be that you're looking for let us help you out again all you have to do is text that keyword we'll get you rocking and rolling now as i said this particular one right here you will see the upgraded countertops the recessed stainless steel sink right there double bowl right you have the high-rise pull-down faucet here as well uh, is that a, all right, I, I, I don't know if it's an optical illusion. I feel like it's a 60-40 bowl. I don't think it's an even split. I could be wrong, but um, 
gosh, I don't, I don't know. I, I'm losing my mind, guys. I don't even know. Anyway, uh, it's a stainless steel bowl, right? It's undermounted. It's it's great. It, it, uh, well, it's easy to clean. With It's a modern cut, so you can put things all the way around in there. Anyway, 60-40. I, I don't know. Anyway, right up top, you'll see good storage all the way across. You have glass inserts, which I do enjoy that. I think it helps break up the wood look a little bit. But also in this one, you'll see you have that cottage white interior that Jayco is so well known for. You can see that kind of running all along the back. Now, you'll notice in a minute when we get into the main living space, that the wood darkens up a little bit, changes a little bit. But I love how bright and airy it is and fresh uh, feeling it is, you know, clean feeling right back here in the kitchen. Good storage for pots and pans there. Also, you can have a nice deep drawer there. It's easy to get to. Your fridge freezers and Norcold, it runs off both propane and electric. Big super slide right here with the dinette. Now underneath the dinette, you will notice you have some auxiliary lighting. Looks pretty sharp. Easy to access the storage as well. Just open that up, good to go. Theater seating over to this side with uh, plenty of cup holders in there. And these of course do recline. Windows all the way around. Excellent lighting throughout here too. Now you have great lighting in the slide, but if you take a look at the ceiling, you'll see you have a skylight helping to bring natural light in and two rows of LED lights, making sure that everything in here is nice and bright, whether it is day or night. Man, I'm rapping. I tell you what, I'm, but with this week, you know, I'm just singing all the songs. We're, we're hitting sea shanties. I'm hitting poems. Man, what's next? A little country music, right? Bring me back to Houston, maybe. All right. If we do, take a look straight across from uh, the theater seats, you will see the entertainment center. So, the TV right there in the center, storage all the way around here. Uh, this does swing open as well. I do want to point that out. Now, the big one, the, the big importance for that for me, right? You can put whatever you want back there, but for me, this gives you a good spot to put some of your auxiliary equipment. If you have uh, a Blu-ray player that you want in here, that you have a place to put it. And a lot of times you don't get that. So uh, I do love that that is back there. You will also see your multimedia center here. It does have a Blu-ray player already hooked up. So you can, or sorry, a DVD player already hooked up. So you can use that. But again, if you want the Blu-ray, uh, you have a spot to put it. But again, plenty of storage. Fireplace right down below. Electrical outlet on the side if you need to plug anything in. I love the fireplace. Line does it look nice, folks. But more importantly is that that is a great space heater. Now, let's walk up front a little bit, right? So one of the things you will notice, and this is generally a make it or break it for a lot of people, and that is a pass-through bathroom. So this is a, uh, an RV built for two, meaning that it don't expect you to have, you know, a lot of kids a lot or a ton of guests. And so a walk-through bathroom makes more sense. The reason people kind of sometimes can be turned off by it is because if this door is shut, you're usually uh, closed off. But remember, you have a second entrance into that bath or into the bedroom, which is why that second entrance is so important. Because uh, with this walk-through bathroom, you're not trapped. You can still get to both sides of the RV. So if that's normally one of those things where you're like, I don't want to walk through bathroom. Well, now you understand that even though it's a walk-through, this RV right here still makes it work. Mirrored medicine cabinet, that's backlit. Nice big sink. As for the shower, again, I can fully stand in here. No issues whatsoever. That skylight gives me tons of room. Again, I'm six foot tall. You have the doors in the roller tracks. The water goes right down into the shower pan. Over to the side, take a look at some of this storage. Fritz, can you show everyone all this storage in here? If you can sneak your way in. You can see all the storage right there. So big linen closet here. There's more storage there. Mirrors all around. Porcelain bowl down below for your toilet, right? So it's going to stay nice and clean. It's also very easy to, uh, to sit there. I mean, I have plenty of space when I sit down, both for my legs and for my shoulders. Now, when I come right up into the bedroom, I will say, you're probably not going to be able to see it, but there is storage right over here to the side. You have big wardrobe space plus a bunch of drawers. And the reason for that is because, well, you don't have huge wardrobes on the sides. They make up for it by giving it to you right at the foot of the bed. You also have these, uh, what I like to call mood lights, right? You know, you can see the, the blue mood lights in here. You're trying to set the mood. That's a great way to do it. It's just the two of you, right? Um, now, you can turn these into reading lights as well if you want. Uh, but, you know, the blue lights are, I don't know, they're blue lights. Right in the center is that big windshield or that window we saw when we were outside. And as I mentioned, that lets in a lot of natural light, which I love. Plus, you have the windows here and the one in the door. If you want TV in here, you're good to go. You can see that you have a spot for a TV right there as well. Now, folks, 
Uh, you know, as I mentioned, you know, if you're looking for an RV, you want to make sure you're going to get one. You're going to want to text that fresh to 46642. If this one is the one that you're looking for, then you're going to want to text RV to 46642. And you can take advantage of the great show pricing, which this one is starting at $36,995 or as little as $8.86 a day. And I'm telling you, folks, if you think you have a better deal than that, then all you have to do is text the word BEAT because if we can't beat that deal, whatever deal you may have, which I know we can, but if we can't, we'll give you a thousand bucks straight in your pocket.